Thousands of people left in the dark after strong storms blow through late this evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 9. Over 7,000 four county customers are without power. That's the last check with CEO Brian Clark about an hour and a half ago. Now, Clark says about 20% of their customer base. They don't have electricity at this hour. So far, he says they've gotten reports of up to seven broken power poles. Crews are still out trying to assess how much and where all the damage is. Clark says all linemen have been called in to begin restoring that power. We're going to get the most people back on at once. We have some pockets with five or six hundred people out. We're going to get those on first and then work where there's just one and two people out after that. So we're going to do what we can do the most good first. Now Clark asks if you see any downed power lines, go ahead and give them a call. Also be mindful of crews as they work through the night to get that power back on. Well, that powerful storm system, it hit Columbus, leaving trees and downed power lines, also ca causing some flash flooding. This is a look at a tree that just clipped a home on Burns Circle on Columbus's north side. Burns Circle was also blocked off after a tree fell on the roadway. High winds blew over dozens of trees across the friendly city, including 6th Avenue South, Military Road, and Martin Luther King Drive. I was standing in the kitchen and just heard a loud boom and they couldn't by my door and then the uh, tree had fallen on my carport. Yeah. Crews are also working on removing trees that are blocking area roadways. In Starkville, parts of the area there experiencing quite a bit of flash flooding. The flooding affected homes, roads, and apartment complexes. Starkville police advise that people do not need to go out and drive in those high waters. Even though most of the water has cleared up, SPD is still advising that if you see water on the road, to not try and drive through it. Luckily, the drainage systems cleared up and got the water away pretty quickly. Winston County was the first in the area to feel the impact of the storm system as it moved through. Trees were knocked down all across the southern half of the county, according to EMA Director Buddy King. In Inouye, numerous trees fell into homes and vehicles. Crews were out quickly after the storms to clean up that damage. Look at that uprooted carport there. Also, downed trees have been making road travel hazardous across Knoxby County. Highway 14 west of Macon was closed for a period of time after a large tree fell blocking the roadway. You see right there, local road crews used chainsaws and heavy equipment to get that tree out of the way. It was a similar scene along several other roads in Knoxby and Winston counties, including Highway 15. Damage was also reported to trees and power lines near Mishulaville. Crews have been working hard to get all of those roadways back open.